If you've been wanting to start formulating with hyaluronic acid, this video is for you. Hyaluronic acid is a beautiful, luxurious humectant that is brilliant for dry skin, helping it glow and be its best self. But due to its high price tag, it can be a kind of intimidating ingredient to work with. So today I'm going to teach you how to make three different hyaluronic acid serums. One with just three ingredients, one with five, and one with eight. Each formulation builds on the one before it, and as always, there's a free partner blog post with heaps of extra information, links to buy the ingredients, substitutions, and discount codes. It's linked in the description box below this video. Let's get making. Before we can mix up serum number one, we need to transform our gorgeous hyaluronic acid into something we can easily work with. When you buy hyaluronic acid, it's a dry, white, powder that likes to clump up when mixed with water and takes a good long time to fully hydrate. And this is a bit of a pain in the backside. So to streamline our formulating, we'll make a biggish batch of a super simple stock solution so we only have to wait for it to hydrate once. The ingredient list for this simple solution is as short as possible because we want this stock to be as basic and therefore as versatile as possible. I've got a whole video on how to do this, but the general gist is weigh out one gram of hyaluronic acid powder, and I'm using low molecular weight. This will give us a 1% hyaluronic acid solution that will be moderately viscous. Combine 98.5 grams of distilled water and half a gram of liquid dermal plus, and then sprinkle the hyaluronic acid powder on top. Cover your beaker tightly and let it sit. I don't bother stirring at this point as I don't want to lose any precious hyaluronic acid powder to a stirring stick and it doesn't end up being necessary. Leave the mixture until you can't see any dry powder. This will take a while. I usually leave mine at least overnight, though often closer to a full day. Sometimes too. It depends on how distracted I get. I used a watch glass as a cover here but I prefer cling film for a proper seal. Once you've got a clear mixture, give it a stir, bottle it up, and then give that bottle a shake for good measure if you're worried your solution isn't fully uniform. Label it, and we are ready to make some hyaluronic acid skincare awesomeness. You'll have enough of this stock to make all three formulations today and have plenty left over for other creations. Our first formulation is as simple as it gets. You'll only need three ingredients. It's really just a hyaluronic acid solution with a low but effective concentration of hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is one of the most expensive ingredients we work with, so we want to use just enough to get the benefits without motoring through our formulation budget. To start with, you'll need 12 grams of that 1% stock solution we just made. This finished serum will contain 0.2% hyaluronic acid, a level that is effective and thankfully pretty affordable. Learn more about this with the free part in our blog post. To dilute the stock down to that concentration, you'll need 47.76 grams of distilled water, and then to top off the preservative, since we've already got a bit of preservative in the stock, you'll need 0.24 grams of liquid Germal Plus. Stir to combine, and that's it for our three ingredient formulation. The finished serum is a pretty thin fluid. I recommend packaging it in a bottle with a dropper cap or an orifice reducer. I'm using a two fluid ounce glass bottle from Voyager Soap and Candle with an orifice reducer and an aluminum cap for all three of today's formulations. Okay, now it's time for our five ingredient formulation. This one adds two relatively common ingredients to give this next version more of a skincare punch and a serum-y feel. Our first new ingredient boosts moisturizing softens the skin, stimulates regeneration, and is soothing. I love it. This fabulous ingredient is powdered panthenol. If your panthenol is a liquid rather than a powder, I have details on how to use that instead in the totally free Humble Bee and Me DIY encyclopedia. The second new ingredient gives our serum more of a serum-y feel. The three ingredient version is pretty thin because there's not enough hyaluronic acid in it to give it much of a viscosity boost. And that is okay. Hyaluronic acid is expensive. Adding more to a formulation 
just to thicken it is a really pricey way to achieve something that can be done for a fraction of the cost. Kind of like using silk to make dish rags. It's also worth keeping in mind that if you're using a really low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, it won't thicken at all. So you couldn't use it to thicken it even if you had the budget for it. So to give this formulation a bit more body on a budget, you'll need a wee bit of soft xanthan gum. If you've got regular xanthan gum or just want to use a different thickening thing, I've got details and suggestions in the free partner blog post, which is linked below. The rest of the ingredients are the same as they were for the three ingredient formulation. We've just got a bit less water to make room for these two new ingredients. Mix 0.18 grams of soft xanthan gum into 0.24 grams liquid germal plus. Add 12 grams of hyaluronic acid solution, 1.2 grams panthenol, and 46.38 grams distilled water. Stir, cover, and leave the xanthan gum to hydrate and work its thickening magic. Half an hour is generally long enough, but I usually get distracted for a lot longer than that. So after a like dog walk and snack amount of time, give your serum a stir, bottle it up, and then give it a solid shake for good measure to make sure that the xanthan gum bobs break up and incorporate evenly. And that's it for the five ingredient serum. You can see it's a bit thicker than the three ingredient version and the panthenol further amps up the skin moisturizing awesomeness. Two down, one to go. The last serum we're making today contains eight ingredients. So we'll be adding three more ingredients to the five ingredient serum we just made. Our first new ingredient adds a soft bit of all natural scent in a really easy, gentle way. No solubilizer required. You'll just need your favorite hydrosol. I'm using rose hydrosol, but you could use any hydrosol you love the smell of. You could also use aloe vera juice or witch hazel here instead. Up next is a very underappreciated, underutilized ingredient, in my opinion at least. <laughs> it is soothing, boosts skin cell turnover, it's a great moisturizer, and it's cheap! A lantoin. And lastly, for even more moisturizing goodness, you'll need a liquid hydrolyzed protein. I'm using hydrolyzed rice protein, but other awesome options include quinoa, oat, and baobab. You could also use a liquid water-soluble botanical extract instead. I think soothing calendula or calming chamomile would be lovely. They also won't give the serum a coppery color, if that is important to you. To make this last serum, mix 0.18 grams of soft xanthan gum into 0.24 grams liquid germal plus. Add 2.4 grams liquid hydrolyzed protein, stir, and then mix in 12 grams of each our 1% hyaluronic acid stock solution and your hydrosol of choice. Add 1.2 grams powdered panthenol, 0.24 grams elantoin, and 31.74 grams distilled water. Stir, cover, and leave the xanthan gum to hydrate and do its thing. While we let that hydrate, I wanted to let you know that I also developed a skin brightening variation on these easy hyaluronic acid serums as an exclusive for my $10 and up patrons. If you'd like to check that out and help support Humble Bee and Me and free formulation education, please consider becoming a patron. Just like last time, you can package up the serum after 30-ish minutes, shaking for good measure. To use these serums, shake a few drops into your palm and gently massage into your skin. I use this formulation morning and night, after cleansing and before any lotions or oil serums. And that's how to make three different hyaluronic acid serums. Which one are you going to make? If you enjoyed this one thing, three ways video, you should definitely click here to learn how to make your very own creamy hair conditioners. Just like this video, the first formulation uses only three ingredients. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.